What's this? Oh, oh no! Somebody call Gary! Hello. Yeah, this is Gary. Hey, Mr. Fights, how are you? Yes, sir. By the Trinity River? On the bay side, really? Okay, well, is his eye completely put out? All right, well, maybe he's sick. Maybe that's why he's trying to get the salt water. All right, well, if he's over 10 foot, let me look. I gotta find me some help, and I'll be on the way from Gator Country. It takes me about 35 or 40 minutes to get there. Let me find some help, I'll be on the way. Thanks, bye. As you can see by the look on my face, some days are really tough. Today, I'm short-handed. I've got to grab anybody I can grab to go help me rescue this really big alligator. I just got a call from the game warden. He actually just sent me a picture right here. There's a big alligator over by the Trinity River that's uh, look kind of sick. They say is it like in the salt water? After looking around, the only two I've got available to go help me today is my daughter Callie and Jeremy. I tell them the situation and tell them what's going on, they're in. Wow, man, so really let's get out of here. Check this picture out. Gator Country's Gator Rescue, brought to you by Daly's Hunt and Fish, for all your specialty hunting and fishing needs. Oddly enough, I never get called to go to Cove, Texas. All of a sudden, twice in two weeks. This call, however, is a lot different than those captive alligators. This alligator is in the Old and Lost River. We're in a very residential area. This alligator is way too big, way too close, and way too dangerous. Let's go see what we got. Gully that goes up through here in the subdivision. Okay. I don't know if you'll get up into it, but you could. Okay. And they got lots of dogs. A lot of. I, I think I'm more concerned of him being sick. Is yeah, that, is he's that... acting kind of funny. He's been sunning himself a lot, and he just recently got back in the water to surf, and he just kind of was floating like a log. Okay. And why do you what what what's one of the reasons you think they get in the heavy salt water like that? Those I think people... it's to get some of the um, parasites off of them, maybe the moss off of them. Yeah, a lot of times, you know, they'll get those little bitty leeches. Yeah. And those leeches don't do well in the salt water. Right, so they won't get that up. But the bulkhead, there's several miles of bulkhead to the north and to the south. And this is the only spot that he's got to get out of that salt water and sun himself. Okay. And is there a high surf like this. Is there any way he can get away from us? I mean, he, Yeah, he can go back out and surf. You can? Yep. All right, so do you think we need surf rods or ropes? What do you think? I think if, if you get back up on the bank, ropes would be fine. So we're... We can walk down and go look at it and see... see what you yeah, think. let's he's go. He's not scared. Okay, let's go check him out. I was going Gary Sarge, nice to meet you. Uh, he's relocated a little bit. Yeah, he's about two bays over. Show, show Gary. So, uh, you can still okay. see him, but he's in the water. Oh, okay. And, uh, had to uh, gain access to him. He's not in the land on him. Okay. 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 He, what, he laid right on this bridge for about two hours. Okay. Right there. Right, well, we come back. It was on the other side just a minute ago. That's a good spot for right there like he is. Jeremy, run up real quick. Run up real quick. Grab ropes. He's wanting to get back up there. That's where I want him. He's just not swimming. He's just not acting like a normal alligator. No, I agree. He doesn't look normal right now. What we're going to do, I'll, I'm trying to pull the landowners back up. I want him back up on that bank. We're gonna get one shot at this animal. One. Once we hit him with a rope, it's gotta work. Look where all he can go. I mean, we, we don't wanna give him that. And I don't, I don't think he's healthy. I think he's sick. I've got Jeremy with me today. What we've done is we've actually crossed over so we can take a different look at it. Now we're actually on part of the Galveston Bay. The winds are ripping. They've gotta be going 35 to 40 miles an hour causing white caps. From here, I can barely see the alligator. Every time the wind goes down, I can see part of his head. We're playing a game of white cap peekaboo. With the wind and the waves crashing up against the shore, spraying water everywhere, I can't hear anything.
What I've decided that I've got to do, I'm going to have to get in the water with this alligator. He's pretty close right now, but when he sees me, he backs up into the surf a little further. I've caught thousands of alligators. This alligator's behavior is really strange. I can't tell what he's going to do. I don't know how to judge this alligator, and I sure can't see him. What I had to do is make me a makeshift pole. I've got my noose around the end of it. This alligator is so close to me, he can have me anytime he wanted me. Folks, this is incredibly dangerous. I'm scooping for him and scooping for him. I can't find him. Do not try this at home. Where is he? Where is he? I cannot see him, and I know he's there. Where is he? I just need one good chance. One good chance. I miss him again. Terry, this is dangerous. Everything's going as planned, and then this happens. It looked like I was in a world of trouble. But luckily, the rope landed just right around his top jaw. We got him! Pull it, Jeremy, pull it! As you can see, the rope that I've got around him is on his top jaw. Those often come off. I need another rope around his neck. Game Warden fights? Brings me exactly what I needed, another rope. You can see it, all of a sudden he bites my rope. Now I gotta get it out of his mouth. I need it to go around his neck. You can see I got wood, I got waves crashing in. This situation's not getting any better. But at least we got a rope on him. Now we gotta find a way to get him up this hill. He's death rolling and death rolling, throwing wood and rocks and water everywhere. I need him to settle down. Once again, I got to get him straight up that wall. My daughter Callie comes in. She's going to give us a hand. We need everybody we can get. This animal is going to weigh 550 pounds easy. As you can see, folks, this alligator death rolls like crazy. So many times, I've got to untangle this rope now. One, two, three. I just lost count. I don't know how many times he rolled. Fourteen. Fourteen death rolls in that short a period of time. Seems to me this alligator is just fine. He didn't really want to get caught at all. Just listen to that wind. I sent Callie off to get the tape for us. Why this alligator was out in this much strong salt water? Normally these big gators like that will take a dip in there. They'll get in there, they'll get some of the parasites off of them. They'll stay in for a little bit. But remember, once the pH level hits a certain number, they've got to get out of that salt water because they do not filter salt water through their eyes very well at all. After I do a front catch on this alligator, my daughter Callie, she's on it. She gets him taped up for us. All of a sudden, it hits me. How are we going to get this alligator up and out of here? This alligator is exhausted. We got to get him out of here as fast as we can. Over this 35 mile an hour wind, we're trying to discuss just how to get this alligator up and out of here.
Folks, as you can imagine, the alligator alone is, is dangerous enough. However, what you can't see is down there, there's a lot of broken bottles. There's old metal spears that are sticking up. There's tin that's down there in that water. This was truly a very dangerous situation. This wind did not help anything at all. Through all of this wind, I hear one of the homeowners come up with an idea. What's it going to be? I guess we'll have to be patient and wait and see. Hey guys, stay tuned through these messages. Look out, don't get bit. Now, it's time for this week's trivia question. What level of salt in the water, known as the pH level, is too high for the American alligator? One, five, seven, or nine? Go to Gator Country Facebook page and give us your answer for a chance to win one of those famous Gator Country t-shirts. All right, guys, I gotta stop here real quick. I gotta get some fuel. We just got kind of a different call. There's some folks over here at the catering company. They actually have a snake in their garage. These folks, are, these folks have really got me in a hurry. This lady says, I don't want to chop its head off, but if it gets any closer, I'm going to kill it. So she had no idea what kind of snake it was, but to her, it may have been a 10-foot anaconda. So we'll hurry up and get there and see if we can get this snake out for her. <laughs> well, I can tell you now, it's not a 10-foot anaconda, but uh, that's what they call a pine snake or a rat snake. And actually, really and truly, these are very good to have out in your yard and stuff like that. I mean, they really are. So I'm glad you didn't kill it anyway. Um, and that's really about as big as they get, but here's the bad thing. When I grab this snake, it's going to let off a musk that is as nasty as it can be. Yes. It, it, it puts out a terrible musk. All right, guys, I'm here with Trish. Trish, you may know this face from, from out at the old maze on the bayou. They actually had that, you know, of course, it had the bad fire years ago. Yes. But you may not know this. These guys are still doing their thing. What? Tell us what you do. Uh, well, we, when uh, the restaurant burned down, uh, we didn't own the property. So what we did is uh, this is our property. We built a big catering kitchen. So we're still in business cooking every day. Uh, if you have a family event or uh, we have a minimum of 10 people, but if you want to order uh, like platter service for 10 people, I'll deliver it to your house, set it up for you. And let me tell you something, folks. Really, these people have been in the food business a long time. They probably got the best catfish in the world. It's really good. Thank you. Well, we try hard. We clean it really good. And we uh, still pride ourselves. Still have the same prices we did seven years ago. Still have the same good quality food. Wow, that's amazing. All right, look, I'm really here to do a job, though. Yes. So I got to go over here and get the snakes. This... Ah, you'd be nice. I'll be nice. Yeah, he is a little he is a little agitated. Yeah. Normally I can grab him by the tail without a problem. Oh boy, look at his tail. He's really thumping on it. He's telling me, back up. I might have to get him with a stick. He's gonna be ugly. Don't you bite me on my leg? Ah! Oh, he's all curled up and hissed up. He's upset. Did you know it wasn't venomous? No, it's oh, you didn't? Nah. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna strike. Let me give me a stick, a little stick or something. Yeah, he is incredibly agitated. Man, most times these are docile snakes. Y'all got him mad. What'd y'all do? Poke him or something? No, that was Look at him. There's a mockingbird that is so mean. Has it, has it, has it been down here trying to hit him? Oh, okay. I almost went to jail Saturday and didn't even know it. Because the mockingbird attacked my right terrier. And I was like a mom out here like a dog. Come on, Snake. We got to go now. I got some more stuff to do. All right, I don't. Yeah, they're just, yeah, my next deal is a real bad deal. Oh, you don't want to pin them that far, man. Right? Now, yeah. All right. Yeah, he is really upset. They really do. Down here towards the end of their in their cloaca area and it'll get really nasty yeah it is because they're non-venomous look he's starting to do it it'll be so nasty in just a little bit so you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and get into my bucket so hopefully he doesn't get this all over me but thanks for calling us thank you so much i appreciate y'all all right you're welcome guys <laughs> 
sometimes these snakes can really smell horrible. And it is an aggressive fella right now. Wow. All right. Good deal. There's one snake out of the way. We'll take him actually. Uh, I've got a friend of mine that collects snakes. We'll actually show you that you guys that too later on. Hey guys, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Now let's go back in the day. These are the days before all the professional cameras came out and we used to shoot all this stuff ourselves. On this particular day, we're in Pleasure Island. There's two alligators here that these folks are feeding. When we actually drove up, they were actually throwing them crawfish heads. You can see those crawfish down in the water. Both of these alligators have got to be moved. This is extremely dangerous. If someone gets too close to the edge and falls over on these alligators, somebody's getting bit. I know that one ain't going to win. This one will be tired of it, and then he'll never catch it. So it's time for a little fishing. You see, we got our noose in the water, and we got that chicken in the water. These gators cannot resist that fresh chicken. Come on, do it again. Which one's it gonna be, the big one or the little one first? Oh, it looks like we got the big one. He is rolling and tearing up the water. Now I gotta find a way to get him out of here. This alligator is going to be well over nine foot. As you can see, he's spinning it out. Look at this alligator go. He's doing everything he can to get away from this rope. But it's too late. I've got that rope cinched in tight. It's not too long before he wears himself out. That's what we like to do. We like to let them spin and spin and build up that lactic acid until they wear themselves out. Now, it's time to drag him out. Let me out, sis. I'm on. Next thing I do, I gotta do is get out. Ready? One, two, three. This alligator rolled so much, he broke my rope. I had to go get a new rope, just in case. Now one good thing about these rescues like this is there's always folks there willing to lend a hand. It takes about seven of us to pull this alligator in this trailer. One more successful gator rescue. Now let me alone. See, he said, let me go, let me go, y'all. He's about to roll. Now that's this week's back of the day. Now, let's get back to the old and lost river, down on the Galveston Bay, where we gotta figure out how to get this alligator up this hill. All of a sudden, I hear the noise of a lawnmower. A lawnmower? Really? No way this little lawnmower can pull this alligator out of here. What we're doing is getting these ropes straightened out so we can attach them to the back of this lawnmower. Then, the lawnmower is going to take off, slowly pulling the alligator up a 2x6 board that we've got in place. But will this really work? I really got my doubts. And if I've got my doubts, you can bet this alligator's really got his doubts. Better. where it lays flat that way it ain't. One more. Put two of them right there. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. That or a shorter board, that way you just make a straight ramp. Yeah, a shorter board would be right there on that ladder, that way you can use all the ladder. You know what I'm saying? Right now, the discussion is are these boards wide enough? We decided to get one more board just to make it wide enough. Remember, we came out here to rescue the alligator, not hurt him. <clears throat> How's that? That worked. And when it gets up there, one thing for sure. Up, soon as it gets I'll bet he's glad to be out of all that trash. Just look at this place. All the white caps and the muddy water and the trash. If I was an alligator, I wouldn't want to hang out here either. Okay. Don't let him get in between there. Oh, well, here we go. This alligator weighs more than this lawnmower. Do you really think this will work? 
So far, so good. Go He's about halfway up. Trailers in the then we lose him. He pulls a death roll on us. Right when we thought he was exhausted, he found enough energy to do another death roll. Messed the whole thing up. We got to start all over. Look at this alligator. He is so tired, he decides that he's just going to take him a nap. He's done. That's it. We're going to get him spin around. We're going to actually take these boards and put a little more of an angle on it. And we're going to give this a second try. Turn him around, point towards that. Jeremy, Callie, and Game Warden Fights did an excellent job dealing with this alligator down there. They actually get it turned around and ready for this second attempt. Without those guys on the ground, this wouldn't have happened. Okay. Uh, and finally, the second attempt. Slowly, very slowly, we're going to bring him up. Jeremy and Callie and Game Warden Fights keep their hands on him to the end. His nose goes over and we pull him over. You don't think that alligator's not exhausted? Callie's even got to roll him over. At this point, I think he would have gotten the truck by himself. And that's it guys, thank you so much for watching Gator Country's Gator Rescue, and don't forget, tune in next week.